So we're making the vanilla portion of our strawberry crunch. Since I have a double pack of the Jello, six ounce, I use th two packs of the vanilla, two sticks of butter, and I started off. Oh, don't forget your one cup of flour. And I started off with the pastry dough blender just to get it together. And then I find to get the best kind of sand is to use my hands. So, we did this just to get it combined enough that the butter has been made into small enough chunks. Now we take that out. Butter, 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 butter. I see some really big chunks that I don't like, so I want to make them a little smaller. Now this is where you want to make sure you're not over mixing, because that's what I did in the beginning, and that's why it failed. Don't over mix. Now I just crumbled my hands. All right, we have enough. Don't over mix it, because then it'll just bake into a put puddle. And I feel like it calls for half a stick of butter. I don't know. The meal does it look a little too much like dough. So we're gonna attempt to save it. We're gonna put one more thing like this. Let's see what happens. Because we want it to crumble. We don't want dough. You can get a fork now. Yes, that's the way it should look. Grumbly. Okay. Let's see how our strawberry is doing. Now we're going to put this into a pan. I'm crumbling this onto a pan. And it doesn't look the right consistency. Thank goodness this one is pudding. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to save it and put it into a cake mix. Because it's only flour, butter, and pudding. And we're going to try again. Because we want it to look like sand. Not Play-Doh. This is not the right consistency. It shouldn't look like that. Because if we bake this, it's probably going to pull up like the failed strawberry one. But I'll take a hit for you guys. I'll show you what it looks like when you bake this. So this is the pudding. We're going to let it set up. I think the Pudding one comes out better than that one, so that might be saved. It might actually be crumbles. We're going to let this cool. And that looks like that is going to work. This is very, very tricky. It's simple, but tricky. 
Because no matter what I do, this is what happens to the strawberry. Hmm. We're going to have to work on that. I think this is why people use the cookie. But the pudding version seems to behave far better. Yes, look at that. Crumbly. Cookie-ish. We'll let that cool. So, you know, that's good. Good thing I tested some out for you guys. And there's some dark edges. We'll just push those to the side. Or blend them in who's gonna really care it's a crumble but yes I like the pudding pudding did his job I didn't seem to mess that up okay We got the vanilla part of the crumble ready. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. Stay sweet. Crumble fail. I don't know what I did wrong. Let's try again. We started out with the strawberry. One stick of butter, because that's a six ounce. One cup of flour. Maybe I mixed it too much. We'll try again. This soupy mess is not a crumble. Ah, fail, fail, fail. I don't know what I could do with this. Nothing, nothing at all. Trial and error. Stay with me, Lotus Buds. Stay sweet. This is the failed strawberry crunch. It's like when a good girl goes bad. There's no going back. No turning back, no saving it. It tastes like nothing. And all the oil is separating. Just trash. Crumble fail. I don't know what I did wrong. Let's try again. We started out with the strawberry. One stick of butter. Because that's a six ounce. One cup of flour. Maybe I mixed it too much. We'll try again. This soupy mess is not a crumble. Ah, fail, fail, fail. I don't know what I could do with this. Nothing, nothing at all. Trial and error. Stay with me, Lotus Buds. Stay sweet.